Can women in their 40s look like teenagers and give birth until they are 65 years old? The answer is yes, there is a valley where this is the norm and its population lives to 120 years old, stay until the end to discover how this is possible. And the fact is that, in some passages of the Bible we can find several stories of some men who lived many years on earth. We have the case of Adam, who lived 930 years, Noah 950 and the most known by all, Methuselah with 969. There are also myths that speak of supposed elixirs of eternal life, and in countless movies and anime series such as Dragon Ball, we see that the ultimate goal of some villain is to achieve eternal life or perpetual youth. Well, I tell you that there is a town called Hunza Valley, where people can live up to 120 years old and most of them always look young, or so they say. Stay and see if this is true. Welcome to Curious Earth, a place full of wonderful landscapes and a unique attraction that will leave you captivated, and don't forget to subscribe, like, and activate the little bell so you don't miss our different content and be the one who kills your curiosity. Without further ado, let's go around the globe. The curious thing about this valley, beyond the spectacular mountains that surround it, lies in the people who inhabit it. People who have been the subject of many studies and who seem to be the possessors of a secret longed for by many, eternal youth. Located in the mountains of northern Pakistan, at an altitude of 2,400 meters above sea level, is this beautiful valley where the hand of man has barely intervened and where. The inhabitants of the Hunza River Valley are said to live up to 110 to 120 years, are said to get sick very little and appear to be very young. They have a Caucasian appearance and have been the subject of several genetic studies in an attempt to establish links with other Caucasian populations. At first glance, women in their 40s look almost like teenagers, and it is even said that they give birth up to the age of 65. But what is their secret? It seems that the main thing is diet, but not only that. In summer they eat raw fruits and vegetables, in winter, dried apricots, sprouted grains and sheep cheese, according to Marquisium. In addition, they bathe in ice water even when the thermometer reads 15 degrees below zero. Research by Scottish physician Robert McCarrison emphasized that these people consume almost no protein. On average, they eat 1,933 calories a day, including 50 grams of protein, 36 grams of fat and 365 grams of carbohydrates. The main factor in the longevity of this ethnic group, according to McCarrison, lies precisely in their diet. Without going any further, neighboring nations that live in the same climatic conditions but do not eat properly suffer from diseases and have a life expectancy twice as short, says this doctor. Another specialist, Richard Bircher, also points out that the Hunza have regular fasting periods. As the secret of their longevity, the inhabitants of the Hunza Valley recommend a vegetarian diet, as well as working and being in constant movement. They say that in this way, joy comes to the surface, the Hunza are always in a good mood, and stress does not appear, they do not suffer from this envious ailment. However, not everything is so clear. Other experts deny that the Hunza are different from other populations. According to Dr. John Clark, who spent 20 months among the Hunza, writes in his book Lost Kingdom of the Himalayas about these people that they were as sick as other neighboring populations, suffering from malaria, dysentery, and other diseases. But most of the experts and people who have visited this valley know that this population almost never gets sick and besides, they live long and always look young. In addition, Clark also points out that the Hunza do not have an established calendar and calculate their age not by the years elapsed since birth, but as an estimate of their wisdom or their leadership within the group. Remember dear viewer, like the video and subscribe to our channel. Keep enjoying the video. The Hunza Valley is a region that is only about 500 kilometers from Islamabad, but takes two days to reach by car. It takes little imagination to know what the roads can be like. However, the attraction of getting there by land, where you will find many wonders which there is, although it is hard to believe per example is to be able to see how life develops in the many villages and towns that the road crosses, 
with people working in the fields without any kind of mechanical help. Seeing people plowing with oxen is just one of the many signs that mechanization has not even appeared in this eminently agricultural country. The stores, moreover, are stationed along the road. They are basically first floors that open their doors wide in order to expose the goods, mainly basic necessities, nothing outlandish. And to complete the picture, imagine the shopkeeper sitting on the ground with his legs half-crossed and leaning on one of the sides waiting for his customers. Life meets the visitor along this traffic artery that, as it heads north, becomes more serpentine and enters the majestic mountains, offering landscapes that make you arch your eyebrows. They have hardly been touched by the hand of man and often stretch much further than the eye can see. It is not uncommon to see a waterfall during your journey along the road. In spring, many men can be seen, taking advantage of the fresh mountain water for their morning wash or to clean the dust from the road of these trucks, which are a festival of colors and deserve a separate mention, because the decoration of these vehicles is a source of pride for their owners and, in turn, a status symbol in the world of truckers. The more Baroque, the more powerful. But to compensate for the tiring journey, there are places unique for their geographical location, such as stopping for tea, the country's national drink, at the junction of two tectonic plates to contemplate the confluence of the Karakoram, the Hindukush, and the Himalayas, three mythical names that evoke adventure, risk and the illusion of approaching the roof of the world. Despite the prohibition of drinking alcohol by religious prescription, in the Hunza Valley it is permitted to produce wine as long as it is not for commercial use, following a tradition that apparently dates back to before the arrival of Islam in the region. In Karimabad it is mandatory to stop at the Hunza Cafe to taste the honey-dipped walnut cake, delicious even if it sounds cloying dash, also from the Hunza Valley it has become a tradition to go to Adabad Lake, which is actually a natural dam that was formed after the 2010 earthquake that flooded part of the Karakoram Road, which links Pakistan with eastern China. Did you know that? To date, villagers in the valley, in northwestern Pakistan, have not reported any coronavirus deaths. It was already a unique place in the world, but now it is exceptional, it is a haven against the pandemic. All around it, the hospitals in the area are claiming. But for the Hunza, the virus seems to be passing them by. And it is not that they have not had visitors, since it is a destination so present in international tourism, as forgotten by the government. It is that something immunizes them against the pandemic. Since the beginning of the pandemic, in the whole valley inhabited by 40,000 people, 1119 swabs were taken and 877 were negative, no new cases were registered. The nearby peoples definitely do not match the life expectancy of the Hunza, nor do they share their habits, and they get sicker. The Hunza do not know about cancer, appendicitis, obesity, and gastric ulcer. And all of this is thanks to their excellent living habits. Well, you know that our time on this earth is short, you have to take advantage of every second but without losing your way. If you want to live a little longer, it's time to start eating well as our friends from the Hunza Valley do, not be sedentary, always be moving and do intermittent fasting, and relax a little, or directly go to live there, and if you don't want to go to live there at least tell us, would you visit this place? If you like this video we recommend you to share it in order to reach new audiences and increase your knowledge about the world, and watch our video about Masanram, a village where people can never go out without an umbrella because it is the rainiest place in the world. You will like it. Live long and prosper.